So now that we are happy with our objects in the binary mask, we can delineate them using the particle analyzer, which will help us split up our mask into individual objects. It allows us to make selections, save our objects, and also measure them. So we'll go on to Fiji. Here we have our mask um, that we're happy with, and we're happy with our objects there. So the first thing again we're going to do is duplicate. And again we'll work on the duplicate. So for Analyze Particles, you can go to Analyze, Analyze Particles, or again just search for it in the search bar. And here's the window. So you can filter your selection of objects based on different features. The first one is size. We're going to set ours to 200 to infinity. So you have also have to be careful here that size is not one of the measurements that you want to use to compare your objects. Then you don't want to filter anything out. It could influence your data sets. Then there's circularity, the closer to one being more circular objects. We're also going to add our objects to the manager, display the results, and we're also going to exclude any objects that are on the edges. So any of these objects that you see that are touching the edges, we were just kind of want to ignore because we don't know exactly what's, what's happening on the other side of this, right? So then we run this, and now we have our objects all counted and saved in the Roy manager, which we'll go over next. So basically, we now have the shapes of our objects highlighted. We'll refer to them as regions of interest from now on. The next video in the series will, series will go over the ROI manager and how we can then measure different features of our images using our ROIs. But I did just want to tell you one more thing. There is another option for analyzed particles. We're just discarding here. And it's um, part of the BioVoxel toolkit. It's called Extended Particle Analyzer. And again, this is part of the BioVoxel toolkit. Again, you can update this, you can enable this update site for BioVoxel and get access to this tool. And then you have a whole host of even more features that you can filter on. So not just size, but perimeter, circularity, roundness, solidity, and so on. So this is also a great tool. So again, you can enable the BioVoxel update site and get access to this extended particle analyzer.